Hey everyone, so I always start my videos like that. I wonder why, that's really weird. So I did, uh, well I received a little haul yesterday um, from my Avon lady and I wanted to show you what I got. It's only tiny, 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 but I can sort of go into more detail with them. So first of all, I repurchased the Heavenly Hydration with Mediterranean olive oil, facial oil from Avon Planet Spa. Um, this is a 30 ml bottle. I've literally just ran out. Looks like this. Something doesn't seem right in there at all. The dropper seems all, I don't know, it's fine. It just seems a bit wonky, but that doesn't matter. It's not gonna break or anything. Um, so, these are £2.80 at the minute, and um, they're usually £4, which is still really good. So I bought two of them. I don't need to show you the other one. This is in really weird. <laughs> um, but these are fantastic. I use this every morning, and I use it every single night after I've toned, um, and, I, and before I've serumed, if that makes sense. And the only thing that's stayed consistent is this. Now, the problem is at the moment, um, with the change in weather, I've noticed that my skin is so, so much drier. So even though I'm using a facial oil, and I have been during the whole of the summer, I would definitely say that um, I'm going to have to kind of get some, I don't know, something else for my face. The serum seems to be drying it out. I've got a really sore lip at the side there. Luckily, you can't see. I don't get cold sores. It's just where, you know, where the weather changes and you get chapped lips and I'm trying everything to resolve it but just doesn't seem to be going so that's slightly annoying um, I've even been putting a bit more additional oil on my lips with this to see if that will work so that's not really worked so I then saw these two items in their solutions range there is the biphase makeup remover and the facial toner um, now this isn't specifically for eyes, but it is meant to be for eyes as well. It says here, apply to cotton ball and gently smooth over face and or eye area with eyes closed. Rinse thoroughly with warm water and pat dry. I've never had to do that before. Is anybody, is, have I missed a step when it comes to this sort of biface thing? Because I just thought you just wiped it off and then that's it. That's so weird. I've never had to do that before. Um, guys, send me a message. I'm not, I've not used this yet. Um, uh, I've got another one I'm going through. I should really check the back of that one. I've never read the sort of instructions, but... Yeah, let, let me know because I've never had to do that before. Let me know what you think. But it's a really lovely big bottle. The fact that I've got to wash that off is sort of annoying. I don't understand why. Gently apply, rinse thoroughly with warm water. I've never had to rinse them before. Please tell me if I've been doing it wrong all these years. I feel like I haven't, but maybe I have. Okay, and the facial toner. Hydrating and invigorating facial toner. Um, I haven't got any instructions on this one. <laughs> Who knows? It probably will ask me to do the same. Oh, I can't get into the instructions. That's, oh, here we go. There they are. So let me, let me just see what this says. This toner conditions and hydrates for fresh feeling skin. Alcohol free. I like that. Um, it doesn't sting at all. Apply to cotton ball and sweep over skin after cleansing, which I have done. I do it after my micellar water. Um, it has got citrus extract, so if that and citric acid, so if that irritates, I wouldn't use that. Um, but I don't seem to suffer so much. I have used it because uh, only once, because I wanted to give it a try. Um, but I have got another toner I'm trying to finish, which I don't like at all. But this is actually okay. It smells really delicious. Mm, it smells like just cleanliness and like fresh and clean. Really nice. I like that. Really miffed about the dual face thing. I feel like I've been doing it wrong. 
Somebody tell me, please. And finally, I've opened this already. I bought this perfume and it was only £7 for... How many mils is in here? 50 mils. £7 for 50 mils, which is really, really good. Um, this is Little Pink Dress. Now, I really rate their perfumes. I mean, the packing, packaging is less to be desired, really. Um, but I wanted to try... This is a perfume, is that? Oh, de parfum. And um, I liked Little Black Dress. I liked Little White Dress. But I wanted something a bit more floral. Um, this is actually quite summery. Uh, jasmine, Pink Peony and Musk. That's why I went for it. Because I love the scent of peonies. Anything peony scented I, is uh, definite. Oh, it is really, really nice. Fresh. Does have a slight musky kind of undertone to it. But what I can smell is that florally peony. And um, just for the time being, until I've got to wait for Christmas to get a new perfume, I'm going to just use this. My favourite. Oh, do you know what? There is that sort of scent to it. Oh, it smells lovely. There's like a sweet scent to it as well. Just slightly though, not too sweet because I don't like too sweet perfumes. I love Stella um, by Stella McCartney. It's just so expensive, so I'll be asking for that for Christmas, possibly. Although I have asked for a beauty blender and cleanser. Maybe it'll have to be Stella. Oh, my birthday's after Christmas. Maybe I'll wait till then. So this is the current perfume that I will be using. It's very strong, actually. You don't need a lot. I think the musk helps. It's really, really pretty. Um, and yeah, it's just a simple bottle. Um, nice and easy to look after. Nothing exciting. Uh, but yeah, I really, really like this. And I really like their perfumes. So that is my haul. Um, I do like Avon. There are some products that I'm not keen on. Um, I haven't found one of their foundations that I love. I haven't found... Um, a lip gloss of theirs that I love and I haven't found um, any mascaras of theirs that I'm that keen on although I know a lot of people that really do like their mascaras but there's a few that I just haven't enjoyed but I used to work for them a really long time ago not work for them I used to be a uh, um, what was it like a salesperson and I loved it and I really got to understand the products and how they managed to give you so much saving because they're obviously got independent people to come and sell you the products rather than doing you know just tv ads on the products or stuff like that although you can buy online now i would suggest though if you want to buy any of these products online you have to pay for postage so find your um independent consultant that does this um like your avon lady they might if if you're not getting an avon catalog then you can request for one to come because you get it free delivery you do have to pay cash, so that's not always the best, but just make sure you've got it. You've got a few weeks to wait. And yes, it's not an instant purchase, and I suppose people don't really like that they don't get it instantly, like in a shop. But then, you know, it, and it does take a few weeks, I guess, when you think about it. But then there's 90 day back guarantee on the items. If you don't like it, there's, I think, I think it's 90 days, 90 days for you to send it back. So I would definitely recommend if you're the type of person that wants to try something and you don't want to send, uh, you, you know that we can't really send it back in most places, then then go here. I know that QVC do it as well, but yeah, um, Avon's a lot cheaper than some of the things on there. And some of them are just as good quality and that facial oil is the best facial oil and at £2.80, it's incredible. Anyway. I'll stop rambling. Um, I do look forward to seeing you in my next video. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this one. If you are a fan of Avon, give it a thumbs up as well. Comment down below if you want to reply to my juve by phase issue. I'm, I've am i never washed it off and I feel like I've done something wrong. Um, but yeah, and um, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm on about, as of today, I'm on about 870 subscribers. So I'm 130 away from a thousand and that would just blow my mind. And I think it might be coming up to my one year uh, vlog anniversary, I suppose. I'll have to check. I should know that, shouldn't I? I'll check and see when I first put my first post off. I bet it was this week. 
Oh, how exciting. I'll have a look. Anyway, um, video's going to be 10 minutes and uh, yeah, see you next time.